because those are people who could technically be described as my boss. No relationship, though, better crystallizes the growing enmity between McAfee and ESPN's news division than his continued indulgence of his good friend, the New York Jets quarterback, defiant anti-vaxxer, ayahuasca enthusiast, and for a brief moment. So it's kind of interesting that now that the dominant journalistic position is that you should not interview or do anything to platform anti-vaxxers. You should only present them after you've edited down your interview and and shown them in a terrible light. So it used to be in the 1960s, reporters were bringing in new voices to the conversation. But now, since the 1990s, all right, it seems like uh, reporters and the most you know, powerful players in the mainstream media want to reduce the number of voices. Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s rumored running mate, Aaron Rodgers. McAfee made sure to note on air that he was vaccinated, an implicit rejection of Rodgers' position. But he didn't challenge his friend about it. And he expressed surprise afterward that anyone expected him to. Yeah, I, I get that from journalists all the time. They have so much contempt for me that I didn't, quote, challenge, you know, many of my more dissident guests. But I got better content from them. I got, you know, a better conversation from them because I wasn't imposing my moral judgment. So journalists often venerate challenging guests and it makes them look tough to their peers, but they do it in a way that usually invokes moral judgments or other judgments that shuts down their guests and puts people in a defensive crouch and then limits the things that they'll say. So a, a more easygoing approach without the judgment tends to you know, elicit uh, far better interviews.